What up, what up, what is going on everybody, it's your boy Jess, welcome back to another Madden 15 online rank match, and today we have the Washington Redskins going up against the San Francisco 49ers, and this right here is definitely a doozy, going up against one of the top teams in the game, the San Francisco 49ers are extremely Difficult to move the ball against defensively. I haven't played against them too many times, but the few times I have, I can say I struggled. Just a very, very tough team. They stopped the run so well, as you will see throughout this game, just block sheds upon block sheds upon block sheds. So I think this right here is the first time that I'm posting gameplay with the Redskins. So, uh, you know, kind of unfamiliar with them, you know, but I do know they have RG3, and I definitely want to be able to utilize the speed that that man possesses. Right here, nice little screen play. Get ourselves the first down. And, you know, as long as you're moving the ball positively against this, this team, it's always a good thing. Uh, get, look at Willis just completely take the, a beautiful angle and just shut me down from going to the outside. Right there, just an absolute horrible read by me. And we give up the pick six. And he hits me with the missile dive right there. So, down 7-0. Definitely not a good way to start the game. You know, uh, I always give up scores. You know, that's nothing new. But when I'm able to, you know, have the ball on offense and then give up a pick six and things like that, like, that, that's frustrating. You know, those are things that can be stopped. And right here, again, another pick six. And, again, this is the beginning stages of me running Oakland as he decides to uh, play around right there. Um, the beginning stages of me playing around with Oakland. So, uh, I had a real tough time reading uh, that route that, like, out slant whatever it is you want to call it uh i had trouble picking it up against like uh cover twos and cover threes like the light blue really made it seem like it was like man to man and i would just not make the right read and throw it right into coverage so right here we back up thankfully we pick up this first down which avoids a punt so you know down 14-0 uh, and he gets the ball at halftime it's really not looking good for us be completely wide open so we end up throwing to roberts and now you know starting to uh, pick up, you know, uh, pick up some momentum here. Now, I know that, you know, he scored four. He hasn't even touched the ball on offense yet, but I'm just making bad, you know, bad decisions with the ball. So, uh, I don't even know what to expect. Maybe he has a really tough to stop offense. I have no idea. All I know is that I am down 14-0, and it's just not looking good whatsoever. So, uh, right here, man, we decided to no huddle and just bad throw like uh three offensive possessions three interceptions and i'm on my way to just getting blown out at this point i'm just like wow it is not looking good whatsoever i continuously keep throwing to the wrong team and it's just not looking good big sack for us right there three man b gap do three man b gap do dream got a three man b gap do link is in the description for his guide if anybody is interested um running a couple blitzes from his multiple defense guide the blueprint we are running oakland as i stated earlier on in the video uh like i said the beginning stages of oakland so i'm still trying to you know figure things out and uh i'm definitely not the type that hits you know the lab as people call it or practice mode i learn you know in game you know i take it in the game you know i need a human opponent i need somebody to make adjustments against me and you know how it is i can adjust to their adjustments so uh th that's how i always learn fourth and ten right here. fourth down swag man gotta punt the ball and hope that somehow our defense comes through you know uh he had the ball one time and we had him on a turnover with the safety so who knows what it is we can do maybe this kid is just not good on offense because we are struggling offense for us so uh back to back three man b gap do three man b gap do back to back three man b gap so uh we end up uh holding up to a punt so now it's like okay let's get things together here offensively let's put up some points try to go to a screen try to get anything going my way right here I'm really just completely struggling right now. And Lord knows I've always had difficulty running against this team. Right here, quick little drag route to Roberts. And we end up, whoop, hit him with that, yeet. <laughs> and uh, right here, man, we back up. Again, just dinking and dunking my way down the field. Short little routes. Lord knows every time I attempted to pass more than four yards, ended up getting intercepted. <laughs> and for pick six. So we don't we don't want that. Quick little angle route to Jackson. And uh, the, the Redskins are fun to play with, man. You got RG3, you got Morris, you have Deshaun Jackson, Garcon, and on defense, you got another word for sack, which is a rack bow, and Kerrigan, and Hall, and, you know, just a fun team to play with. But uh, we finally scored, so now it's like, okay, we're back in here. You know, he has not been able to move the ball against us, you know, pretty well. So definitely feeling confident right now. So 
Uh, maybe we can go ahead and get ourselves another defensive stop right here. All right, here, just Hail Mary, just toss it up, hope for the best, and thankfully, you know, no touchdowns given up right there. So, going into halftime, he does have ball, but 14 to nine, he really has struggled moving the ball against us, as we have struggled moving the ball against him. So, right now, it's just two offenses that are just completely struggling. But my offense has struggled a little bit more, giving up two defensive touchdowns. So, uh, right here, man, we're just hoping for another stop. Kaepernick rolls out, and this is what makes Kaepernick such a headache to deal with because he has that ability just to take off running. Third and nine, he goes for the screenplay. I feel like I'm in position, but thankfully it was dropped. So, fourth down, he decides to go for it. We know how my fourth down defense is. It's always bad. I hate when people go for it on fourth down. Not because I don't feel like they don't have the right to. You got to do what you got to do to win. But it's just I can never stop people on fourth down, man. It's extremely frustrating. I hate when I see somebody go for it on fourth down. I'm like, oh, great. Uh, right there, quack, quack. He throws up a rubber ducky, and I'm like, no, so you. Give it to me, baby. Huge interception right there. And this right here allows us our opportunity to go up one score in this game. So uh, one try for the read option. Again, whenever I have a mobile quarterback, I'll try and sneak it in here and there. But typically doesn't do too well for me so we really could use this first down we go to jackson and we do not pick up the first down and we're forced to punt the ball so it's like okay our deep look at them punts though them punts are beautiful our defense got to continue playing great because right now we're doing an excellent job of not allowing him to even pass midfield which i don't even think he's done yet man he's just really struggling moving the ball against us so right here he backs up and he just gets the first down right there and uh, right, he decides to run to the right, and we stop that. And, you know, Frank Gore, you know, uh, usually does pretty well against me. That guy's a son of a glitch, just always running the ball, falling forward. Huge sack right there by Kerrigan, forcing a fourth down. This time, he decides to not go for it, being on his side of the field. And that right there gives us a turnover on down. So let's see if we could finally get in the end zone, considering we're just struggling so bad. You know, our defense is playing well enough to win us this game, and I don't have these opportunities happen too often where I'm really stopping somebody's offense consistently, you know? So uh, two things really don't happen to me too often. One is just completely baffled on defense, struggling. I mean, offense, I should say. Completely struggling, came with the ball, throwing many pick sixes and things like that. And then me being able to stop somebody, you know, with so many times. Right here, Roberts looks like he's going to be able to go in the end zone. Yeet! We end up jumping on in the end zone, and we take the lead. For the first time, we go for two to make it a field goal, and that's exactly what it is that happens. We are successful on the HB dive. So 17 to 14, we have our first lead of the game. Here we go back again on defense. Well, actually, I feel comfortable. Now, this may be the only video you hear me saying that, but actually, I feel a little comfortable right now considering we've done an excellent job of not allowing him to move the ball at all. Like I said, I literally don't even think he's past midfield yet. That's how good of a job we're doing defensively against them. You know, we got his passes on lock. He's not being able to run the ball. So he decides to punt the ball. You know, even though he was uh, successful a couple drives ago on fourth down, can't blame him. You know, he knows I'm just one mistake away from throwing another pick six. You know, he's done a pretty good job defensively against me. I'm really struggling out here as well. So, uh, again, back to the drags, man. He's giving me the underneath routes, and I will gladly take them. This year, they are uh, more effective than I ever remember them being. Like, drags and slants are so effective man uh because zones play extremely well so you got to take you know what your defense is giving you right here again back to jackson and with that elusiveness man them double jukes got him swerving towards the inside so he's starting to waste his time out a little early but you know he's definitely desperate to try and go on ahead and maybe hold me to a field goal get that ball back but because he wasted all of his timeouts all but one uh, right now, we could win without even scoring. So we drop down right there. Less than two minutes warning. He only has one timeout left. We pick up the first down, and we are able to just go ahead and kneel it out from here. So that's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed an absolute slobber knocker. We end up struggling so bad. Uh, the kids scored twice, both of them being on pick sixes. So uh, these aren't the type of games where I typically win, where I struggle on offense. But thankfully... Our defense was stout, absolutely not even allowing him to pass midfield, completely shutting down anything he wanted to do when it, when it comes to both aspects of running and passing, not allowing him to do anything. And again, these aren't the type of games that we win. You know, when we struggle on offense, these are the type of games where we get blown out. So one of the rare occasions where our defense actually played great, allowing our offense to continue to keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, and eventually we're going to get in the end zone, and that's what happened. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you guys made it this far in the video. Don't be a lazy bastard. Appreciate you guys for liking the video if you guys made it this far. It's your boy GS, and we are out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.